Good night. Good evening. Good evening, class. How are you today? Good evening. Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Excellent. Thanks. And nice to see you. I'm happy to see you again. Okay, we don't have time to wait, so let's start working on our on our class. Okay, just remind me, this was the last activity yesterday. Am I right or this one? Yeah, any and some, remember? Hello? Hello? Yes, remember. Okay. All right, my friends. So let's see if we can um check the conversation. So the store doesn't have any potato salads. Well, we have lots of potato. Let's make some. Let's make some. Okay, very good. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Any mayonnaise? Yeah. No, we need to buy and some. Some. We need any. Any. Some. Oh, we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. Let's celery. get some, some celery. No, I don't want I don't want any. Any? any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some, some apples apple. in, it, in it. Yes. Apples in, in potato salad. That sounds awful. Everybody has the answers? Todas las tienen? Yes or no? Do you have it? People, I'm asking you. People. Bueno, yo sí las tengo, teacher. Okay, in the rest of the class. Okay, good. So we can go to the next exercise. Okay, no me dicen nada, verdad? Como son ustedes. Okay, let me see. Let's go to the next one. Okay. I want you to complete the chart with foods from the exercise one on page 58. I want you to list the count nouns and the no count nouns, okay? Make a list of count nouns and non count nouns and write it on the, on the chat.
Pero no, un poco ni lo pronto. Then you see, Diana Saraí says counts. Apples, mm, beans are not countable. Why, teacher? Beans, no. Beans, we cannot count beans. One bean, two beans, three beans. <laughs> Cuando lo estamos limpiando, teacher. Ah, ah sí, te lo cuenta. Ah, 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 mire que... Qué descubrimiento. <laughs> you're, you're tricky. You're tricky. Don't be tricky. Okay. okay. Onions are, are countable. Okay, me parece que let's do it. Let's do something something different. Okay. Because no va a tomar mucho tiempo. It's gonna take long long time. Okay. Count nouns. Okay, give me, give me a. Dígamelo, por favor. Yes, yes, Genesis. Rice, beans, water, butter, bread, and meal are non count nouns. You're, you're good. You're good. Okay, count nouns. Dígamelo, por favor. Apples. Apples, comma. Potatoes. Potatoes. Uh huh. Carrot. Carrots. Uh huh. Carrots. Carrots. Figs. Bananas. Bananas. Mangoes. Mangoes. Thank you. Cherry. Cherries. Ah. Cherries. Watermelons. Bread. 
No, Brenda is not countable. Oh. No. Pineapple. Pineapples. Son los que están en la pirámide, ¿verdad, chicos? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Si Orange. Oranges. Tomato. Orange. Otro tomato. Watermelon. Potato. Otro watermelon. Potato. Otro potato. Cucumber. Candies. Cucumber. Cucumber. No. Cucumber. Nuts. Candies. Candy. Uh, yeah, candies, I guess, candy. yes, candies. Yes. Pero, pero no, candy. Um, no, esa no va. Candy, uh, ella no va. Okay. Crackers. <laughs> let's, let's work on the non-count. Rice. Uh, pasemos los Rice. Ahorita. Bread. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Rice. Bread. Oil. Bread. Bread. Oil. Oil. Cereal. Or cereals and liquids. Cereal. Best. Pasta, tea, yogurt. pasta, yogurt, milk, milk, juice, cream, oil, milk, juice, butter, cream, butter, 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 butter cream, oil, cream. potato chip, potato, potato, potato chips, potato chip, potato yes. chip. But, um, pero si las potato chips vienen en, en bolsita, esas sí se pueden contar. Vienen no, en contenedor. Ajá, en contenedor se pueden contar. Sí, pero por contenedor, no por sí mismas. Ajá, y entonces ahí, porque aquí en la presentación están en contenedor. Ah, están con contenedor o con cuchara. No, las potato chips están en contenedor. Ah, perdón, que le escuché que estaban en contenedor. No. <risa> no, en una bolsa. <risa> Vamos a ver. Entonces, yo, hasta, ¿Cómo la ponemos? Soy, yo soy gracioso, ok. Sí, la ponemos como... Eh, Let count me see. Or no count. Potato chips. Non count. Not count. Not count. Pastas y las en not count. Y las potatoes, potatoes, así en el vegetables. Esas sí se pueden contar. Ah, y brócoli, lettuce. Broccoli. Lettuce. Not count. Not counts, I guess. Lettuce, no. you can count lettuce. One lettuce, yes. yeah. Y no, one head, one head. Y brócoli. Noodles, no, noodles, no. No, 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 no. Y la pasta tampoco. Pasta no. Either. Cheese. You cannot count cheese. You cannot count chicken. You cannot count meat, beef. You beef? cannot count fish. Mm -hmm. um, fish. Nut. Nuts. Las no. nuts. Las nuts. No. No count. None count, I guess. We cannot count grains. Okay. Over. Over, over, over. Look at the chart. Now, broccoli is good for you, but potatoes are bad for you. Are you sure? I think potatoes are good for you. Okay, now let's go to another activity. And we're going to practice pronunciation. Okay. You see the balls so on the words? Those are the stress, the stress words. So what, say, what do you need? I need some bread and some fish. Do you need any fruit? Yes. I want some bananas. You see the stress? The stress goes on the last word because that's why we want to emphasize. What do you need? Okay. What do you need? 
la fuerza de la palabra. De la, la, de la voz. Ahí alzamos la, la voz. voz. Okay. What do you need? I need some bread and some fish. Do you need any fruit? Yes. I want some bananas. Make a list of foods you need. Then we're going to practice the sentence stress, okay? ¿Qué es lo que necesito? I need some butter, uh, some fish, some apples, and some bananas, okay? Haga un listadito, like, of four things, okay? To practice the stress. Write it on your notebook, please. Solo con respuesta o, o haciendo solo, preguntas. No, no, solo la respuesta, la pregunta ya la tenemos, esa es. Muy bien. What do you need? Es la pregunta. What do you need? ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué necesitas? Lo vamos a imaginar. Yeah, imagine. Y vamos a responderla de manera larga, así, Correcto. I need vamos, vamos some. A, ah, ok, yeah, I need some. Uh -huh. oh. Yo tengo una respuesta. Ok, wait, 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 porque nos vamos a ir a los grupos. Uh -huh. Y siempre vamos a usar some. Yes. Solo some. Sí. Porque to todas van a ser uh, resp eh, respuestas afirmativas, ¿verdad? No Corre negativas. Cor correcto. Ah, muy bien. Done? Are you done? Tell me you're done. Tell me when you're done. ¿Cuánto necesita? Uh, four. Okay. Finish? Everybody finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go to the groups and practice. What are the questions? What do you need? Or do you need any fruit?
Um, What happened, Roxana? La sacó.
Everybody's back. <clears throat> okay. No more. Yeah. There you are. Open your cameras, please. Open your cameras. This is our first shot. Open it. Open it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Okay. One more, and here we go again. Yes, eso, con estilo. Como que fuéramos ganando los Juegos Centroamericanos. Thank you. Let's go back to our class. Teacher. Hello. Eh, nosotras este, en el grupo estábamos con una duda. Por ejemplo, en la respuesta, en la pregunta negativa donde dice, do you need any fruit? Nuestra mm -hmm. respuesta, en nuestra respuesta, si, como la vamos a hacer afirmativa, ahí vamos a decir, yes, I want some, ¿verdad? Aunque la pregunta sea una pregunta negativa. No, 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 no. Es que las, las, las preguntas no son negativas. Nosotros usamos any en las preguntas. Ajá. Eso no quiere decir que sea negativa. Any se usa en preguntas y en respuestas negativas. Ah, en respuestas negativas. Ah. Pero, pero, vaya, por ejemplo, si nosotros hace, eh, en, en esta pregunta decimos any fruit, la respuesta. Eh, Ahí la respuesta, sería, uh, yes, I need some. Uh, oh, some. Por, mm -hmm. y, las, y las, I need some apples, oranges, vaya, pero también puede ser, yes, I want some. Mm, puede ser, pero le están preguntando need, con need. Ah, ajá. ¿Qué necesitas? ¿Qué necesitas? Si necesitas frutas. Ajá. No si quieres. Mm. No, pero en el ejemplo estaba la Dice pregunta want, también. así y contestaban con, con want. I want. Ok. Ajá. Ok. I want. Se puede. Muy bien. Es posible también. Se puede sí, responder se así. Se puede, claro. Muy ok, bien. my friends. Let's go to another conversation. This is how about some sandwiches? Lo vamos a leer. Uh, le, le, okay. le, no, let me let me send the the photo okay. and send the, the pronunciation. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, 
everyone likes potato salad. Are we okay? Yes. Okay, Julio, Julio Cesar. Present, buenos días. Okay, let's practice the conversation. Okay. Okay, you start. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some kitchen in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have an, any drink? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone like potato salad. All right, very good. Aquí me, dijit, aquí me dijo eh, kitchen. Check. Yes. Ah, Check. perdón. Ah, ok, good. Yeah. Sí. Re refrigerator. 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 Yeah. Ok, aquí tengo dos, okay. dos compañeras. Okay. Tengo Caroline and Ana. Please practice the conversation. Ana, you're Aaron. Ana, you're Amanda. ¿Lo hacemos entre las dos o con yeah, usted no, siempre? No, no, no. You too. Okay. Ana y Janet. Yes. O Ana María. Ah, ok. ¿Con Ana y Janet entonces? Con Ana y Janet. Vamos, Janet. Ay, bye. Adam. <laughs> ok, empiece. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, refrigerator, but we not don't not have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All real. Let's get some limonado, limonero. Lemonade. And let's buy lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Ever John likes potato salad. Everyone. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Okay, I have Eva and Roxana Yanira. Okay. ¿Quién comienza? ¿Usted o yo? Yo. Hi, Esta. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, thank you. Now we have Diana and Alba, Iris. Ah, okay, Liliana se me está escapando. Ana María no, también. Empezaré yo. Okay, okay. Dice, what do you want for picnic? Perdón. For the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but the but we do not have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do you want any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's 
Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone, every, every. Everyone, um, everyone. Every, everyone like potato salad. Okay, thank you, Ana Maria and Liliana. Okay. E everyone likes and okay. re refrigerator. Ya lo mandé al chat para que lo para que vean la, la pronunciación, okay? Okay, teacher. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator but we don't have any bread. Um, we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? Mm, do, do we have any? Uh, no, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. All right, thank you. Thank you. Alvaro, Alvaro, let's do it. Amada and you are Amanda. ¿Cómo se pronuncia limonada? Lemonade. Lemo, lemonade. Gracias. Okay. Well. Okay, Álvaro. What do you want for the picnic? No, yo, yo soy Adam. What do you want for the picnic? How about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Right? Good, thank you, Alvaro. Teacher. Hello. Puede escribir de nuevo cómo se pronuncia refrigerador. Ahí está en el chat. Ah. Es un el último mensaje. Ajá, sí. Gracias. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the adverse of frequency. The adverse of frequency tell, tell us how often we do the things. Okay, these are some of the adverse of frequency. So we have always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. The exception with sometimes is that uh, the adverb can go before the subject or after the subject. Is the only one that, with the one that we can have that exception. Okay, so in a scale from zero to 100, always is the 100% of time that we do something. Then we can say the 80% is usually, 60% is sometimes, 40% some, I mean, uh, sometimes, 20% or 10% hardly ever, and 0% is never. Something that you always do, like, do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I'll always do, but that's something weird. I can say I always have breakfast in the morning with a cup of coffee. I always check my my uh, cell phone. Yeah. 
I always go to work. I never get sick. Okay, that's how we use the adverbs of frequency. Okay, entonces los adverbios de frecuencia no, nos dicen con qué frecuencia yo hago tal cual cosa, las actividades que yo hago. Okay, the things that we do like uh, every day, or the things that we never do, o las cosas que hago algunas veces o casi nunca. Okay. So always means siempre, usually, usualmente, or uh, generally, often, a menudo, sometimes, algunas veces, hardly ever, casi nunca. Más despacio, porfa. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Always, siempre. I'm going to write it. <clears throat> A better right, okay? Usually. Always. Siempre. Yeah. Siempre. Usually. 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 Usualmente. Yeah, usualmente. Often. A veces. A menudo. A menudo. A menudo. Creo que así es. A menudo. Sometimes. A veces. Algunas veces. Algunas veces. Hardly ever. Casi nunca. Casi nunca. En never. Nunca. Nunca mente. Mentira, nunca. No. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok. All right. So those are the others of frequency. Now let's talk about the position of the others of frequency in the sentences. ¿En qué lugar se va a colocar el adverb of frequency en una oración? El lugar de un adverb of frequency en una oración es after the subject. ¿Understand that? Yes. O, o, o lo podríamos decir, between the subject and the verb. En medio de... El sujeto y el verbo principal. Ok. Example. I'm going to write something. I always have a big breakfast. Mire. Dijo, se coloca en medio del sujeto y después de... No, no, no. En medio del sujeto y del verbo. ¿Sí? Y la otra que dije es después del sujeto. Quedémonos ¿De qué de... manera? De, 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 es igual lo que estoy diciendo, da lo mismo. Eh, pero... Si usted observa, hay es el sujeto, después va el adverbio y después va el verbo. Mir. Vaya, la estructura oh. entonces, teacher, quedaría sujeto, adverbio de frecuencia, verbo y luego el complemento. Así oh. quedaría la estructura. Ahorita lo estamos escribiendo. Adverb. Verb. Ajá. Adverb of frequency, verb, más complement, plus complement. Yeah, complement. What do you have for breakfast? Así que quedaría la estructura. Correcto, correcto. What do you usually have okay. for breakfast? Yeah. Well, I have... Yes. 
Mire esta. Ah, I never okay. read the newspaper. Ah, Understand? Do you? Exception. La excepción es con sometimes. I never read the newspaper. I have sometimes breakfast at some. Miren, sometimes I exercise in the morning. Y también puedo decir I sometimes. No. Ok, you see? I never read the newspaper. Sometimes I exercise in the morning. Perdón, teacher. Hello. Pero, y ahí, Pero ahí, perdón. Cambia la estructura. ¿A dónde? Ahí le he escrito diferente. ¿A dónde? Porque la excepción solo con sometimes. Ah, que no me están poniendo. Solo con sometimes. No me están poniendo atención. ¿Abajo? No me ¿En está... el ejemplo que acaba de escribir? No me están poniendo atención. El adverbio va sujeto. ¿Ya ve? No me están poniendo. Adverbio... No me están poniendo atención. Le estoy explicando, va. Le estoy dando el ejemplo. I never read the newspaper, ok. El, el otro ejemplo de subject, adverb, verb, complement. Y les estoy diciendo, sometimes is an exception. Ok, can go before the subject or after the subject. Con sometimes tenemos la excepción. Ok. Now you got it. Ah, hoy, hoy se me quedan callados. Solo, solo con sometimes se puede escribir así. Solo con sometimes. Es la excepción. Ana María. Gracias, gracias. Ya, Ana, se... Ana María. Sí, ¿eh? gracias. Y también se puede poner así. Como, perdón. Continue, continue. 